So today we are outside again and as you can see my husband is dressing rugged <laughs> because we are going to Kenyatta. Well Kenyatta is a place here in Enugu where you can buy construction material. So if you want to build a house then the best place to buy the materials is in Kenyatta. So you can find everything there from the electrical, plumbing, what else? Cement. Maybe how much is one bag of cement now? Right now, I bought it uh, yesterday, 3,100 now. Oh, it goes down, sorry, because before. No, it went down later after some weeks, it went up again. Okay. It came down to two thousand. Before it was four thousand. Later mm. it, it came down to. It started coming down gradually, gradually till two thousand nine hundred. But as at this week, mm. this week again, it went up with two hundred naira. So right now the price is two thousand. No, three thousand one hundred. Okay, naira. three thousand one hundred naira. Because last December it was expensive, right? Mm. Mm. It was ridiculously expensive even the tiles it increased the price so now we're going and to buy I, tiles i heard that the guy that that is selling ties to me mm -hmm. told me that ties is going to go up again again okay the thing here in nigeria if you buy oh a lot of people <laughs> the thing here in nigeria if you buy <coughs> construction materials once you go to one store and they will give you the price usually once you go to other store their price are all the same not really all but most of them have the same price because they have union yes. right yes they have union and they need to be part of a union so at least you know when the price will go up when the price will go down so that's the thing here we are now here in the gasoline station and there's a lot of cars maybe because it's early morning no usually Why? this filling station is the best okay. their meter is good their fuel is good they don't sell fake fuel okay yeah what is the fuel station that you used to queue <laughs> near our house ncdp no nnpc uh, nnpc Okay, before every time I will come here for vacation at night I will see cars queuing in that fuel station So they're queuing so that once they open in the morning hmm, At least they are already there some of them they will leave their car But it's on queue or some of them they will even sleep there That was during the first casting mm, when fuel was it, it, it's Expensive. so it's so funny that Nigeria is an oil producing country, but we still have fuel scarcity in Nigeria. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are playing game with the market or something. I don't know. But yeah. honestly, uh, I appreciate the price of the fuel here because in the Philippines, <laughs> yeah, when it comes to fuel expensive. price in Nigeria, Nigeria is still buy fuel at the lower lower price compared to other countries. It's very expensive in the Philippines. I think, um, how much here? Okay, if it's here, let's say the fuel price here is, let's say 150 Naira per liter. In the Philippines, you will going to buy it like 500 Naira per liter. Mm. It's expensive. Why? You don't want us to, uh, because of your, okay. Oh, okay, it's the tank. Maybe you can reach. Okay, so <coughs> later again. You got reach? We are here in the place where we buy tiles. So you can see they're selling tiles there. I'm hoping that we can go to Kenyatta, but I think there's a traffic traffic jam so maybe we will not go there today but of course I would like to show you how Kenyatta looks like <laughs> it's one stretch of a road where you can see 
everything you need in the construction and there's a place there where you can also buy sand, gravel, um, stones. So this one is a part of Kenyatta, but the main Kenyatta is still in front. And there's a traffic jam over there. Usually, my husband doesn't bring me every time he will go in to buy a construction materials. Because as what I said, once they will see me, they will go in to increase the price. Since my husband already knows the price and he will only buy a few tiles, that's why he decided to bring me. But if he will go in to buy a lot of things or he will come here to price because before you buy, you have to price first. Okay, this is my tip for those ones who wants to build a house here in Nigeria. Don't depend on one store or one company. You have to go around, don't be lazy, okay? You have to go around and ask for prices and then you need to compare. There are some companies here like if you want to buy the roof, okay? There's some companies here that they can also install it for you. So if you want the roof to be installed properly and nicely, then you can ask the company to do that for you. But if you know somebody who are good in doing that, then that's your choice. So my husband is there. Uh -huh. So he's there and he already know what he will going to buy. And I think the guy, he is already expecting that we are coming today. This is the public market in Emene, Enugu. Emene is part of the Enugu East local government area, mostly a residential and industries area. As you can see, the government demolished the public market after the wide road construction of Nike Lake Abakpa Emene Road under the governance of Governor Ifanye Aguanye of Enugu State. They said that they will relocate the market in a better location. This market is currently located beside the airport. You can actually see the airport runway from the market. And I think the reason why they want to transfer the market because this market are attracting lots of scavenger birds. And since it's very close to the airport runway, it will cause destruction to the planes during landing and departing. This market also causes lots of traffic jam and generate trash which they are avoiding because it's very close to the airport. are here again in the site because we need to bring the tiles that we bought and there's a stream here very close and I want to show you later that stream so let's go up okay it's dark mm -hmm. so they already finish the stairs I mean the tiles for the stairs huh. I don't know. I'm I'm tired, but I didn't do anything. After this, we go to the stream. Then later, we will go to the car wash because we need to go to the village in the afternoon. But I don't think I will still go with him. So let's see now. Let's see because I want to stay at home and edit videos. Go ahead. Um, somebody's here because somebody's here because uh, she's cleaning the upstairs she wants to clean the floods upstairs actually we just want to give them job so that at least 
they can see money. Here in Nigeria, it's actually not that hard to get uh, workers. But of course, you need to choose the workers you will going to get. If you need a workers for your construction site, there are areas here that they gather, they sit. It's usually along the highway. You will see them, they're just sitting there the entire day. And then once the car will park one side, <laughs> they will all rush to the cars and they will offer you their services. Even women here are doing construction, yeah, construction work. Before, we used to have a woman, uh, I think she's a helper in this, in this site because she's just carrying water. So you can still see them here in Naicha. So we changed our mind again. <laughs> We are not going to the stream anymore because the place is lonely. That's what I said. You have to avoid lonely places, especially for a foreigner. So we will not go there anymore. So where are we going now? Car wash. Mm. So we will just wash the car and go home. Two thousand years later. I am so tired because we walk. We just came back home because we attended a meeting, me and my sister-in-law, because this our community, there's a meeting regarding some issues and we want to put street light. Because here in Nigeria, if you are in an estate, there's some estate that is owned by a company and there's some estate that it's not owned by the company. This estate is not owned by a company and we need to do things on our own so we want to put street light and they are already checking how much is it how many household will going to share the expenses so a lot of things then now i suggested to put a solar street light because you see this will be the problem every month they will going to pay the electricity bill so you can't tell now maybe some people will pay some people will not pay then that one will going to give a problem and another thing not everybody will going to stay here for long some of them will leave soon especially the tenant so i suggested the solar and they gave me an assignment that i need to check how much is the solar for street lights so i have a new assignment anyway this is for our community the only good thing here is this community we have light most of the time but of course you can tell when they will going to bring out the light so if you put this uh, street light and there's no electricity of course there will be no street light as well hi it's not easy yo, but anyway Thank you very much for staying with me today and I hope to see you again on my next video. So if you didn't subscribe yet, please go ahead and subscribe, okay? So have a good night. Bye!